Hello everyone, Tractor Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So uh, today's video is more of a quick update video. We have a few things I want to talk about, and uh, hopefully I will get this up for Tuesday. Today is Sunday. It is currently uh, 9 p.m. I've been out with my brother uh, this afternoon. I've got back and I've had a really busy day. Of you will look behind me. You, you may notice it's a little bit different. I've had a move around, um, done some of my housings. And uh, it's been genuinely a very busy day for working with animals. I'm filthy, as you can see, and, and whatnot. But I'm getting things ready for the show. So the show that I'm talking about, of course, is the Southern Inverse Show, which, of course, is hosted by Inverse Shows UK. A uh, card up at the top for the playlist. If you haven't seen any of their shows, please do check that play playlist out and uh, feel free to come along. Uh, this is the last show of the year for Inverse Shows UK. It's also the last show of the year for me and it's held in Brighton, so if you are down on the south side of the UK, please come on over to the uh, to the Southern Show. All information can be found in the description of this video on the Invert Shows UK Facebook page. Really, really good show. Uh, I cannot wait for it. I know it's going to be absolutely amazing if you said anything like the last ones. Also, uh, on the same day that the show is held, it is also a good friend of mine's birthday, uh, Mr. Francis, or Sidex as he is known on YouTube. It is his birthday, so I would love for you, if you don't know who he is, uh, go on over to him, subscribe, and if you are already subscribed to him, still go over, and just uh, give him loads of wonderful birthday love. I would really appreciate that, and I'm sure he would as well. Uh, so yeah, Francis, happy birthday to you. Uh, I don't believe he's going to the Southern Show, so uh, this is like my birthday shout out for you, and I hope you have a wonderful day, however you spend it. Next, something a little bit different. Um, I have here a box. This is not for me. Uh, this is actually for Princess Sophie Pink. I'm not going to tell you what's inside this box. Uh, there is something that is not from me, but it's coming to you. There is something from me that is just a little gift. I figured I might as well send you something. Um, it's something that there is only one of in existence. Um, it's nothing living, but it's something that I thought you might like. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Please, if you don't know who she is, again, links will be in the description to Princess Sophie Pink. Go and check her out, subscribe, tell her that uh, you came from me, and uh, I hope you enjoy all the good stuff that is in here for you. So I'm going to give you a bit of an update on the animals themselves. Now most of the things are pretty much same old, same old. If you have me on Instagram, you will have seen the scare that I had, where I thought that I'd actually lost one of my T. Celadonia. And when I say lost, I don't mean as in it escaping, I mean it had been eaten. So I have two T Celadonia, uh, this one over here, which I'll get some footage of now. And also the one that is in here, which I don't actually know where it is, is in there somewhere. Uh, a week ago, I was just doing maintenance as I do every, you know, usually most nights unless I'm busy, just feeding and watering and making sure everything's all good. And the I fed the Celadonia a mealworm. I crushed the head on it, only a small mealworm. I uh, came to check on it later on. Spiral nowhere to be seen, and basically I thought that the mealworm had eaten it. I searched the enclosure, I couldn't see anything. I left it. I just put, I literally just wanged everything back into there. Really, really angry, as you can imagine. And I was just like, you know what, I'm, you know, I'm leaving the room. So I just turned that all the lights off and left the room. Um, came in to do basic feeding. Other than that, I didn't actually bother. Yuna's in a very strange pose. I was just a bit concerned. She sort of. I think she's trying to go to sleep and I'm keeping her awake. I can't, I won't keep her for much longer. Um, yeah, I left the room really, really angry. I came in just to do basic feedings of the reptiles and watering and things. But other than that, I just kind of didn't pay any attention to the Celadonia. And then on Thursday evening it was, I came down and saw that it was actually crawling around and it found this really tiny little gap that it can get down and I couldn't see it. So I went from being really angry I was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. By the way, if any of you want to play with me on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you can add me. My gamer tag or my name is in the description of all my videos. Come and have a game with me. I play with a group of you know, Francis. Uh, he's one person I play with a lot. A guy called Rich, um, Brandon, uh, to name a few. Um, and it's a really, really good laugh. It's just, you know, I was ranting to them about losing the Celadonia. But thankfully, I can say that it is in there. Oh, see it's at the back. It's alive and well, and it's all good. So, T. Celadonia scare is was, was over, and I'm fine. Um, the other updates that I do have, as I say, I've moved a few spiders around. 
I've got um, two deaths that I need to mention. So the one death, both of them are really annoying. The one, which I think is... I have here in my hand. Uh, this is Pogotheria ornata. Uh, I actually found it, it was still in the malt. I'd actually took the malt off it, but it got stuck uh, malting, which is a real shame. Um, I hadn't seen it for like a week, two weeks, and usually, like this one here, this is P. regalis, if you can see this. It's pretty much always out on display, and I didn't see it, and I was, you know, you start to, like certain spiders I don't see, and I know that I just don't see them, and that's fine. But then the certain spiders that I know are usually always out. So when I don't see them, I get quite concerned. Um, I checked today and found that it had got stuck molting and, and was dead. So I'm really gutted about that. Uh, the second spider that has died, I'm even more annoyed about. And I always say um, that I will try and avoid it. And yet it keeps happening. And I don't know why. Um, Harpactria porcupies. Um had been eaten by a mealworm or it was basically um, the second, third, fourth leg into the body and half of the uh, abdomen sort of down. Um, I found that um, a week ago. I haven't reported on it yet, but I thought I should let you guys know. Um, so I hadn't seen that for a while and I was like, mm, something's not right here, I just checked. And there it was, half eaten. And uh, it actually molted as well, which is probably why. I always make a point of crushing their heads, but obviously I didn't do a good enough job on that, so that was not very good. Um, it really, really irritated me, as I'm sure you can imagine. If you've seen Harpactria porcropes, they're gorgeous spiders, really quite miffed about that. But um, So because of that, I have this enclosure here, which is empty. Um, also, the Pionata uh, coffin enclosure is now empty as well. Um, I have... Uh, the enclosure for the Wagapur Diverse Peas. Um, I've got a few other enclosures that are empty. So my plan is to clean out the ones that are empty and kind of get them ready so that this weekend at the show I will you know, buy some more spiders to go with them. I think I'm probably looking at uh, one, two, I'm putting it like maybe like four or so adult Arboreals, um, I've got several uh, terrestrial enclosures um, as well, so I can get some large terrestrial spiders. Um, also, got some a uh, few juveniles on my list that I'd like to get. I won't mention those there at the moment. Um, I also have, I think it's here, my uh, you know, you've probably seen Petco and he does these like CAD drawings of how he's going to do his shelves, things like that. Well, I don't do that, I get a pen and paper and I just draw <laughs> what I want but basically what the my plan is um, is here in this gap here to have a, like a shelf built with three layers and I can have all of my sling pots and things on there this enclosure is the one that uh, lights up uh, the lights are in the LEDs at the top here and the plan with that is to have that set up like predator or prey on lines blue uh, death fighting beetles, um, blue fighting death beetles, whatever. Uh, if you haven't seen that, there'll be a card up here, I think it is. I can never remember which side it is, I think it's up here. Uh, there'll be a card to that video, go and check out. Um, it's an awesome setup, and I figured I've got the same enclosure, I could sort of um, use him as inspiration. So, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be getting some blue death fighting beetles, and then some millipedes and other bits and bobs as well. So, yeah, going to be doing quite a few, um, you know, got hopefully getting in quite a few bits and bobs in uh, next weekend. Um, and then I'll be, of course, be with Dan's Wildlife. And I think on the Monday, because I'm off work on the Monday, of course, um, we're gonna be hopefully uh, rehousing everything, uh, doing the show video, getting everything rehoused. And there's also all of these enclosures, um, the Celadonias are two priorities. Some of the large arboreals, P. metallica, P. regalis, P. retarta, uh, the Sarbar blue, Venezuelan sun tiger, uh, P. ammonia, uh, maybe the centipede. And I've also got a lovely, well, I want to write it, Pamphibetus uh, species Esmeraldus, which um, has actually recently molted. And um, by recently, I mean about four days ago. You can just see the molt here. Uh, it is a female. 
um, and she's looking absolutely amazing. I, I put some footage on screen. Uh, she sort of came out to down to my hand, and she just looks amazing. Um, I also have an enclosure to rehouse her. I'm gonna wait till she hardens off before doing that rehouse. So um, yeah, that's obviously gonna be coming up, and I'm gonna make that look really, really nice. Not just substrate and a hide. I want to try and get some actual plants. I've actually. I mentioned that I've sort of been through this room and I've been uh, sort of, you know, tidying up and moving things around and I've binned all of my plastic decor uh, with the exception of some of these that are actually already in the enclosures until they're cleaned out but the rest of them my plan is to get rid of all the plastic and fake artificial uh, de decor and have it replaced with actual living plants. Um, I don't know how that will work because of you know the lights and things but hopefully it will be okay um so yeah that's kind of like a quick plan on the week i've also got two enclosures uh the one here the double vivarium um the, those two are empty as well so i'm thinking maybe over christmas might look at getting maybe a couple of reptiles or something to fill that because those two are completely empty at the moment um i don't like buying things just for the sake of filling things i'd rather you know, have an idea of what it is I want to do, so, which at the moment I do have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. Um, and the other thing, um, if you've been asking me how the Eurocanthor Calcarota are, of course, if I just turn this around, you can just see how it's growing in my window here, and uh, I can just see the one just in there. So yeah, I'm, they're very well camouflaged, but uh, they seem they seem pretty happy. So that is the end of this video. It's only been kind of a quick update video, but I hope you found it kind of interesting. Please, if you're coming to the Southern Invert Show, please look out for me. No doubt I'll be working either on the spider shop, uh, probably dressed as Spider-Man at some point, uh, or walking on the camera. If you see me, feel free to come and have a photo with me, get in the video. Um, obviously, you know, come have a chat. It'd be nice to see you. Last show of the year. Hopefully it will be absolutely amazing as they always are. And I'm going to leave you with a clip um, from the winner of the giveaway with uh, JP. Um, all information to him can be found in the description. He will also be there trading as well, I think. So, of course, I will be checking out JP. Also, I mentioned that that spider has uh, molted the... Well, it was Rocky Palmer Wagons. It no longer is. You can just see. You can just sort of see it there. I don't know what you can see it which is now uh, Tilt the Cartel um, Wagons. It's no longer Bracky Palmer. Um, for anyone wondering, I will be doing a video on the Bracky Palmer genus breakup. So basically, all the Brackies are the same. It's just the red rumps that have been moved to the Tilt the Cartel um, genus, which is a new, uh, new genus on its own. I will do a video to cover that and all the species and subspecies and all that kind of stuff. Um, so please look out for that. But the Bracky Palmer is doing really, really well. So. See, I'll say it again, it's not a Bucky Palmer. The Tilt Cartel Baggins is doing really, really well, and I will um, keep you guys updated on it. It's actually fed um, this morning. I was gonna try and get some footage of it, and uh, it snatched the food and ran away before I could film it. So, didn't get any footage. And of course, the uh, Assassin Bugs are all doing fantastic as well. So, really, really happy with everything. Everything's going well. So please, if you see John Paul, uh, please, Go and say hello to him and say, you know, you did you did damn good. So he gets my, my thumbs up. So yeah, um, with that said, thank you for watching everyone. A huge thank you as always to my patrons for their continued support in uh, sort of funding and helping to fund all of this and keeping it going. Really do appreciate it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, share my content. It really does help me out. I'm going to leave you with a clip now of the winner who uh, obviously won the... Uh, video. I'm going to trim it down a little bit, but there will also be an annotation at the end of the video to the full video. Go check him out, subscribe. So to Wesley, congratulations. I hope you enjoyed your stuff. And with that said, everyone, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye from everyone. Take care. Hi, Trench and Dan. Hi, John from Inver Nation. Um, I've got my giveaway prize here. It's awesome, so let's get this opened up. Okay, sweet. So the first thing is olive millipedes. I can see him right there actually, that is super cute. Oh my god. There, and also a nice warm heat map. Ooh. 
Oh, hello, baby Regal Jumping Spider. That is super tiny. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to spring, feed him spring cells, I guess. Um, so here's the card for Invert Nation. And so the next price here. Where is it? An OBT. Here they are, guys. Is it going to focus? There we go. It's adorable. Um, I'll put some food in there in a minute. Um, <clears throat> come on, I want to have now all this space to hang around in. So, um, thanks for watching and thanks for putting me in the video, Dan. Goodbye.